Alright, my boys. So there's gonna be a new patch that's gonna be coming out in a few hours. And when this new patch comes, I'm gonna be losing my champion Laurel, which is gonna be absolutely painful. I spent over three years trying to get this crap back just so I can have it for a week and pretty much lose it. Well, I got it I got it in 2021, then I lost it. Somehow managed to get it back, which took a decade. Now I'm about to lose it again. They're gonna be adding a new feat into the game, which you have to beat a DA hard mode 50 times, and that's gonna push me back into a diamond. I'm gonna be really depressed, because all this hardware just to have it for a week, it's gonna suck. It's too good to be true because this lore is truly amazing. Alright, uh, we're gonna we're gonna wait until the new patch note comes. Alright my boys, I am getting on terror. And what really scares me the most is will I be able to keep my champion Laurel or not? I, I'm having my doubts. My question is, well, I'm gonna be able to, uh, I'm probably gonna get pushed back. That's what scares me the most. Am I gonna go to Diamond? Bruh. Lost my champion, Laurel. How much did they push me back? Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell, hell no, man. man. What, what the fuck, fuck man? I'm just get your ass on, boy. Yes. Bye. You get your goddamn ugly ass on. 511? They pushed me back 511? Where am I? Where am I supposed to get 511 Laurel? What feats did they add it? No, they got rid of some feats. They got rid of them a lot. There was like 200 something, but they uh, they pushed me back by a lot. So this is the new title. Drinkin's Arena Professional and what you call it, but where is I'm supposed to? Uh, that's pretty much that's a wrap. I'm um I'm never gonna actually get a champion lore again until they actually fix it. Um, I need to earn 500. I'm I ain't gonna earn that, bro. There's no way I'm gonna actually get that. Unless they have more feats or something. They need to remove some feats out the game, but that's a wrap. It was fun while it lasted. Alright, let's see. Wow. Pet Rex is absolutely insane. Alright, let's see. So clearly they showed it they um when it comes to skills they show it to where when you activate one of your skills it's gonna go on a timer and you can see how long it would pretty much it would take. So wait So that's sixty eight seconds and that's about how long? That's about two minutes. So Bruh. instead of being like, like, like if I use the brooch, it's three minutes, but it shows you it's it's one eighty seconds. Let's see how much how much can you put up per item? What is the limit? I'm gonna say, is it twenty mil? You could, you could put unlimited up here. 
To put 200 mil, you need to spend... Oh, hell no. You could put unlimited... Unlimited money. No, no, I went too far. One cents, hundred thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand mil, ten mil. Put an item up here for... So, you could put unlimited. So, I wonder... How much would they sell the throw? They probably gonna put the throw mail up here for like, what, 15 mil I'm going to zoom? No, they haven't did that yet. I'm going to say that, um, they're gonna probably try to put, um, they're gonna try to sell level, I don't know. That's crazy, man. That, that's, uh, that's crazy, my dude. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, on top of that, what about the, uh... Alright, Delusional, Delusional Breaker is... is no longer... Is, oh, it's now a shiny title. Okay. And what about this guy? A diable picnic? No freaking way. They actually did that. A diable freaking picnic. So we have rare, we have rare cards, which is that's 50. Then we have the uncommon, which is that's 15. More of those. Tradable books to sell. So, the best item is a diable picnic, and that's legit it. What about this dude? Wow, oh, that's garbage. You got it. You, they making you pay 100k for this? That's a ripoff. That's a... That's a giant scam. What really upsets what really upsets me the most is that What really upsets me the most is that uh I lost my champion Laurel. And as for the uh they were supposed to make it to where you could start getting your hands on the whatchamacallit. Is that the hey, hormone only or? I don't know, you're supposed to get your hands on the ticket things. What about the legendary cards? Jesus Christ. Ancient level 25. Power, endurance. You need to... That's way too much. Now there's more of these. Increase damage by one when you're attacking from behind. MP. Crit power 01. Crit power 01. Okay, this ain't busted, but it's still dumb though. Increase crit fire to about 15. Alright, so... The new golden cards are absolutely dumb. Wait. Ops defense. Alright, so this is just... This is just to be more tanky. Yeah, the new gold cards is absolutely kind of ass, to be honest. The only thing that's actually kind of OP is, uh, is, uh, pretty much, um, the uh, increased power by 20. Huh. 
tell me a tale. And then, and then after that, um, then after that, um, they posted, they posted make it to where, um, Sorcerer's Old Power, and that's, that's mostly, that's all, mostly it. They didn't really have to put new cards into the game, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of upset. I'm kind I'm kind of upset that I lost my champion, Laurel. And I'm never gonna get that champion Laurel back. All right, so I didn't see this, and I was really confused. But here's where you could get the uh, legendary cards from. This is where you could get the main cards from: the Kai's, Velik, Sky Lotus, and the Frost Flower. And this is the Starlight the Starlight Festival. You could pretty much get all the gold cards you need and stuff. But but sadly though, uh, man, this is actually a lot, and I don't even know, I don't even know how you're supposed to be getting these. I guess you just run a dungeon and it pretty much drop. You can get, you can get a total of, of 999 of these, so you can get all the legendary cards you want, which that's gonna be insane. Oh, and then I also forgot to show you. There's there's new footsteps into the game called Sprouts. But I wonder, do you have to fish for these? Because it's a Fisher uh, Parafise event merchant. But I don't know. Alright, so before I end this video, there's also, I think, a few things I miss. Alright, so let me take my pet out. Let me uh, go to pets. They made it to where they actually fixed the appearance change. So I'm gonna turn my llama into this. And I have... I have a... Fairy. Because it was actually, uh... Bugged out. Just an appearance change. And then on top of that... Um... I'm going to get the, uh, Diable Picnic outfit. Uh, the Diable Picnic dress. This is one of the most, uh, best items in the game. I would not believe they would actually put this into, uh, into the NPC shop because before they put this item in the, uh, in the, well, before, this wasn't even on, this is not even in Terror Stores. This item came, this item came out in, like, 2021, maybe 2022, but before... This, this, this dress right here, which is the picnic outfit, it goes for like, uh, well, it goes for probably, probably about like 10 mil, Tell me a tale. 10, probably 15, well, it's not worth anything now. I want to dye this, uh, I want to dye this, um, black. And then, and then on top of that, there's also these new footsteps I got, which is the, uh, the, uh, the sprouts. I believe these are the best footsteps in the game because, uh, it says seasons change and so do your footsteps. If they make it to where it changes winter, spring, fall, summer, and like... Like, let's say, for example, if it was winter, and these grass turns, you know, fall to, uh, to, uh, winter, like, ice, like, ice flowers, ice, ice sprouts, I would consume these are the best footsteps in the game. Because they say winter change, and so do, does it as well. Uh, something like that. Still kind of, still kind of upset that I lost my champion Laurel. I am never gonna get that back. I may never. This is the Diable, Diable Picnic. Like this, this is the outfit that all the females would freaking, would freaking die for.
Alright, I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna end it right here.